Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at number 44 from the 2016 released questions from book two. This one's very difficult, so I thought I'd make a video on it. It says, Maddie had a piece of ribbon that was three and a half yards long, which by the way, I have represented here in blue. That's three and a half. She used this ribbon to make bows. Each bow was made from a piece of ribbon that was three-fourths yard long. So let's take a look at what that would look like. This is one bow three-fourths of a yard long, one bow. This situation can be represented by the equation three and a half, so we're taking this, three and a half, breaking it up into equal groups of three-fourths, so each bow would represent, you know, three-fourths of a, a yard, equals four and two-thirds. We can do all the work and we can get four and two-thirds, but that's almost irrelevant because they're giving us the answer. They want to know which statement best describes what the quotient 4 and 2 thirds represents in the situation above. All right, before we begin, let's just take a look at some of the things that come up in the, in the, in the answer choices because they talk about, um, this one talks about being 2 two thirds of a yard left over. This one says 2 thirds of a bow. This one talks about 4 and 2 thirds yard. So let's really interpret each question each choice rather, and then we'll take a look at how we might set this up on our number line to help us understand which answer is correct. Choice A, Maddie had bows that were each four and two-thirds yards long. Well, this is what one bow is. That's three-fourths. How can it be, how can one bow be longer than the amount of ribbon that we have? So that just doesn't make any sense. Let's cross that one off. Not a contender. Maddie had four and two-thirds yards of ribbon left after making the bows. Now, if she's starting out with this and breaking them up into equal groups, how can she have more than what she started out with? That just simply doesn't make sense. So let's cross that one out. So now we're left with the two that are very similar to one another and very hard to determine which is the better answer. Maddie had made four bows from the piece of ribbon, so that's consistent with what we have here, and had two-thirds of a yard left versus choice D, Maddie made four bows, which we have here, from the piece of ribbon and had enough left for two-thirds of a bow. Now let's make sure we understand what I have over here. This represents two-thirds of a yard. Let's put that over here and show you why it's two-thirds of a yard. Okay, because we are, I'm sure the red line represents three-fourths of a yard. The, gr the blue line represents two-thirds of a yard. Now remember two-thirds is equal to eight twelfths and I broke this up into twelfths just so we can kind of compare things using twelfths. Alright, now if we actually take a look at this number line and figure out how many of these pieces here, this represents one bow, how many bows can we get out of this blue string, out of this blue ribbon? There's one complete bow, there's a second bow, so now we're up to two bows. Here's our third bow, bow number three, bow number four, and bow number five. Oh, we didn't have enough. Bow number five, we didn't make it. So we have four and a little more. So now we're basically fixating on this piece right here. Let's just pull this over here and just look at this. Now when we talk about this two-thirds, because this one's talking about two-thirds of a yard, this one's talking about two-thirds of a bow. Now, let's pull our little piece over here that we looked at earlier. We, earlier, we agreed that this is two-thirds of a yard. Now, that blue piece that we have, is that two-thirds of a yard? That doesn't make any sense. Now, let's look at whether or not this might be two-thirds of a bow. If this is one bow, and we break it up into thirds. Let's make that more conspicuous so you can see the thirds. So this would be one third right here, this piece. One third, two thirds, three thirds. This piece, this is what we have. This is ribbon right here, the blue. This is two thirds of a bow, not two thirds of a yard. Because remember, this is two thirds of a yard. That's not what we have here. We have two thirds of a bow. So that means we're going to reject choice C and we're going to happily pick choice D.